Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to call the meeting to order at 609. Um, and I just wanted to um, check in with the board because um, the, the amount for the initial consultation with Jackie was different than, than what I thought it was when we had our initial board meeting. And so I just wanted to make sure that everyone was on board with going ahead and having this initial consultation. Um, I did get an email from Jackie and she said she didn't think it would take the full five hours or that, that she wouldn't use that full amount of time. Um, but the charge is $120 per hour and we're, we're doing, we have an allotment of five hours that we can use. Um, and then from there, we'll work with Jackie to figure out another contract. So um, we would sort of do it piecemeal um, moving forward after this initial consultation in terms of doing sort of an assessment of what the board needs and what the board wants for training. So what I need is um, direction from the board in terms of a motion to, to uh, direct me to either engage in this contract or to um, not engage. And do we want to, I, I would imagine we might we want to have some discussion about sort of whether or not we want to do this. And can you just outline like directly the changes? So what we were presented last meeting, I know there's an email that I could refer to right now, but it might just be easier to say like, this is the, like, what's the cost for these five hours total? So the cost for the five hours is $120 per hour. Um, what Jackie is going to do is um, consult with the board. Um, it would be uh, probably about a one hour meeting with the board. She also wants us to do sort of self assessment uh, ahead of time to just sort of get a chance to sort of think about what's working, not working, um, what our challenges are as board members and as a board as a whole. Um, and then also she was going to, in her work with us, just sort of review with us what policy governance is and isn't, um, and then sort of try and assess or have us look at what it is that, that we are struggling with as a board in terms of, uh, our working together and understanding our policies and working with our policies. And then we would move forward from there. So before what the board had wanted was to have somebody kind of work with us and basically take our policies and work with us to rewrite them. And that's not exactly what they offer in policy governance, because that's not, that rewriting of the policies is the board's work in policy governance. So there isn't sort of a consultant that can do that for you and say, this is the right way that the, that the policy should be written. So she would be more working with us to assess, is this system working with, for us, what it is, so what is policy governance, how, what it is and what it isn't how it's working for us currently and um, and what we're struggling with and then um, and help us uh, move, make a plan for, for uh, what we might need in terms of further education to, to really look at our policies and work with our policies. I mean, I don't, I do feel like the first section sounds a little bit redundant <clears throat> from what we just did with was it Susan Brown and all those modules. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but I'd love to hear Rachel and Brian and Megan like what you're thinking.
Hi, can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, sorry. I'm so sorry. I was late. I forgot. Um, <clears throat> so I think, uh, so we just did the training with all of those chapters online, which was helpful. And I definitely was thinking that this was going to be a little bit more about policy review, but I'm not opposed to the training. I think it would be helpful for us. I think I was thinking that it definitely was going to be more based on, you know, our, our, our policies, how they should be. But um, if it's something that they're going to be able to guide us to figure out, I feel like that's going to be more helpful because I, I definitely don't know whether our policies are where they should be. Um, and I'm not saying that they're right or they're wrong. I just don't know. Um, so I think in a sense, it would be helpful. It's definitely a time commitment, um, but it sounds like it may not take as long as we're thinking. Uh, and, and maybe I missed this and I'm sorry. Um, did she say that we would have more time than just before? I think it was February that you initially had proposed. Well, what she's going to do is she's going to meet with us initially and just do sort of an assessment of where we're at. And then, and then from there, we can, we can do some further training. Okay. Um, and she's going to, she has been, she's worked with policy governance as a superintendent. So she's going to be less about sort of the, the, you know, what we got from those modules, which is this is policy governance and this is mm -hmm. how it works. And these mm -hmm. are the principles it's based on. She'll give us a sort of a, a little bit of a look at that, but that's not, she's going to look more at practically, this is what, this is what you do with policy governance. Okay. Um, so we don't have to fulfill the five hours before February though. No. And it's actually the five hours is her time in prep. So the five hours includes her meeting with us for prep time. Okay. To for the meeting. So that's what the five hours is. So it's just really going to be one, one meeting um, with us initially. Okay. I mean, I'm, I think, I, I feel like in, I'm fine with it. Mm -hmm. Did you figure out your unmuting, Brian? <laughs> No, do you, your chat's coming through you're, though. But you're okay. Okay, so in your chat came, let me see if I can see your chat here. Uh, yeah, so, but you're, you're a go with you, you're, a, you're on board. Okay. Um, Rachel, any, any thoughts? nothing really to add nothing nothing original other than nothing nothing beyond what has already been said i think having a more practical approach that's different than what we just did could be valuable and the only way we'll know is if we try it okay yeah and and i would say that's what jackie um was selling in terms of what she could do for us is just a she could she could um she's a practitioner um was the the big thing that she was saying so she can sort of help us understand how to how to work the system and really look at our policies which is ultimately what i was what i've been hearing from folks is we want to be able to be able to look at our policies and understand whether or not we need to change anything or not. Um, so I think she'll be able to help guide us in that direction. We engage the, my God, what is it? Um, VSBO, what is it? VSBA. VSBA. <laughs> um, I'm, apologies, VSBA, uh, in this training. Okay, do we have a second? You can raise a hand. All right, second from Brian. 
Uh, any more discussion regarding engaging the VSBA for this contract for an initial assessment? Okay, all those in favor, please say aye or raise your hand and up. Oh, and there's Megan, she's got one. Okay, so the motion passes. Um, that is all that we have for this meeting. So uh, I'm always forgetting whether or not we have it to have a motion to adjourn. Do we have a mo no motion to adjourn? So uh, the meeting will then end in 20 minutes. There we go, Brian, I tried. <laughs> um, and uh, we'll see you all at the next board meeting. And I'll, um, I'll let them know at the VSBA. Thank you. Awesome. Bye. All right. All right. Good night, everyone. Thank you.